Greetings folks, in this video I'm hoping to test the difference in behaviour when you lose a motor having the prop spinning out compared to having the prop spinning in on a twin. Uh, I have two throttle cut switches on my radio, one for each motor so I can fly uh, with both motors then cut one out and we're going to see if uh, it's harder to control the plane with the prop spinning out with one motor than with the prop spinning in. Uh, I've got no idea what's going to happen. Um, there's lots of theories going around but uh, this is a chance to actually test it in the field. Let's see what happens. Okay we're ready to go. I'm just, I'm just going to fly around a little bit and then uh, test uh, stopping each motor with the props spinning out at the moment. And of course what I'll have to do first is make sure the ailerons are going in the correct direction. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, I will stop the right motor now and I can still fly the plane okay. So that was okay. And stop the left motor in the next pass. left motor now. It's still no drama really. Well maybe it is. Still okay to fly kind of, as long as you've got your wits about you. Left seems worse than the right. Try that again, right motor. Now, a bit of aileron and rudder and throttle and it, you can kind of keep flying. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not easy though. So it might be easier with the props spinning inwards. Let's try that. In a little while I'll do the left motor again. Left motor there, bit of rudder, bit of aileron, you can't, yeah it's hard to battle it, no you kind of can though. Alright so let's swap it over to uh, inward spinning props now. At least I haven't crashed it already, well apart from having the ailerons reversed. Don't have prop brakes on do I? All right, I'll swap the rotation of the props. So I've swapped the AC cables over. Now I'm swapping the props over. So they're going to spin inwards now. All right, props are spinning inward now. I better test that. Yep. That's all working. Okay, time to go again. Okay, stopping the right motor now. It's pretty much the same, I have to say. Try the left motor. That was just as difficult to control as the other motor as uh, spinning out. Stop the left motor now. Left motor. Uh, it's exactly the same, pretty much. Yeah, look, I can't detect any difference. I'll do, the, do that again. They're both very hard to control, and I doubt you'd be able to keep flying.
Okay, stopping the right motor now. Aileron and rudder to try and counteract it. You can kind of keep going on, but it's drifting. No, then it just takes over. And I try the left motor again. I think they're pretty much the same. I can't see any difference at all. Uh, basically, if you lose the motor, you're going to be in trouble either way. You're okay for a little while, but then, yeah, it just gets out of control. No, not enough difference to uh, pick between them, I think. So, there you go. It's a, it's a good theory, but maybe it doesn't um, really make enough difference. To di dictate props in or props out. Especially not for that reason, anyway. how long I can fly with, uh, say, the... Right motor, stop. It seems to be a bit easier with the right motor stop than the left motor. Which was the same with the other one too, I think. Yeah, so it kind of goes okay for a little while, but then it just drifts further and further. I think you end up going to end up doing a big circle. Interesting. Oh, there you go. So inwards or outwards, I don't think it makes enough difference when you lose a motor to uh, dictate either way. So the theory was that the with the prop spinning outwards, uh, if you lose a motor, you're going to have uh, more um, torque roll than if the props are spinning in. I don't think there's enough torque roll uh, with a twin motor setup because the motors are set away from the centre. Not enough to torque roll to make uh, any difference either way, I don't think. Anyway, interesting experiment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.